Good morning, everyone. Oh, Lord. I'm so tired. I actually got up already, ate breakfast, and did a lot of stuff. But it's 11 o'clock, and I'm back in the bed. I'm so tired. But I'm about to get up because Chloe and I are going to the mall. So I gotta get up and get dressed. Oh, I just don't feel like it. All right, y'all. I'm about to go run to Ulta right quick because I want a new flat iron. So I think I'm gonna get the um, Conair Rainbow Titanium flat iron. I've heard so many good things about this flat iron. Let me know down in the comments if y'all have that flat iron and how y'all like it. But I think it's about, it's under 50 bucks. So I'm going to run and get that because it's 12 o'clock. Actually, it's 1230 and I'm still waiting on Chloe. Um, I guess she's a late sleeper or whatever, but Chloe, if you see this, wake your ass up. Because we got stuff to do today. I literally made it home, like left my house, went to the store, came back home in probably 30 minutes. It's crazy. But yeah, I'm so excited. So um, this is the one that I got. This is the one and three quarter inch. And this is what she looks like. She's beautiful, like it's a rainbow looking so pretty so let me show y'all my other flat iron it's a con air as well so this is my other flat iron um i think it's the same i think this one might be a little bit bigger this one might be like two inches but um i like this flat iron it's cool but i just heard the titanium is way better and I just wanted titanium because they said like titanium plates on your flat iron are so much better than like ceramic and that's a ceramic flat iron but she gets the job done though she really does no cap but i don't feel like look i'm upgrading i need to upgrade my flat iron so um probably gonna give this one to my little sister since she's starting to like mess with her own hair a little bit more. Okay, I don't really know. So it has like the on and off switch and then this little knob right here. Let's see what the knob means, honey. I'm pretty sure it's like a temperature knob, but it doesn't say what. So the highest temperature it goes, I mean, the highest thing it goes to is 30. But I guess I would have to read the manual to see the temperature differences. I don't know why they didn't just put like the temperature on the thing. But so right here for the temperature log, um, one through eight is for low temperatures. That's for like delicate thin hair. 9 through 14 is for medium. It's like average to thick hair. Uh, 15 to 20 is medium high, thick to wavy hair. 21 to 25 is high for hard to style hair. And um, 26 to 30 is maximum for very resistant hair. I feel like they could have just put the temperatures, like that would have been a little more easy, you know. 
But anyway, I guess I'm flying in my weave. So I guess I'm gonna put thick wavy. I think I'm gonna put on like 20. Just, oh, that thing get hot. I think I'm gonna just have it at 20. Mm. We're gonna start at 20 and then if 20 ain't good enough, we're gonna go higher. Okay, so my flat iron stopped blinking. It actually heats up pretty freaking fast. So what I usually do when I flat iron my hair, I just split it in between. I take my Chi Silk Infusion. I put like a little bit like on my hand and I focus on one side. I just like finger it. You know what I'm saying? If my elbows are ashy, y'all, excuse that. I'll get to it later. And then I pretty much do the same thing to the other side. I don't, I try not to put like a ton of heat in my hair. I mean, a ton of product in my hair. Cause you know, when you have product build up, that's when like the, the nape, the back of your neck start uh, getting all tangled and stuff like that. That's when you get the most shedding. Well, that's what I experienced. Okay, so let's try this. So I'm just gonna take like a little bit in the front, just so y'all can see. I would tend to flat iron my hair in big sections, cause I just ain't got time, y'all. Uh oh. Ooh, she getting real straight. She okay? She a little stiff. Okay, y'all see that? Oh, that was just one pass. Okay, let's try another one. Let's try another one. Ooh. Ooh, y'all, oh! And don't worry about this blank cut because I tried to do it myself and yeah. Okay. Okay, Miss Titanium. Yes. And this flat iron is so much more lightweight than my other one. Y'all, this is one pass. Every little thing I do, yeah, that seems enough for you. Oh, I like it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do my whole head and then I'll be more cool. Okay, okay y'all. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all see this? Little ceramic. Not ceramic. Titanium. Little titanium. Y'all see this? I love it. Oh, I'm so glad I upgraded because I mean, one swipe, that's it. And I was in like pretty big sections. But yeah, y'all. Um. So as you can see, I have my faha off. I can't. I still can't freaking believe how freaking flat, flat my stomach is. I still experience like swelling in my back, but my back is like really flat. But yeah, that's a little bit of swelling you see back there. But yeah, so um, I haven't had my faha on for like two hours, maybe a little more. And I don't feel like a ton of swelling in my back, which is weird. But then it's not weird because um, for like the past week, like right after New Year, I told babe like, we gotta stop eating like this. Like, we gotta stop eating so much pork. We really haven't been eating a lot of pork, beef, chicken, any of that. We've been eating a lot of seafood. And whenever I cook, I don't add salt to my food. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm just like, how do you make your food taste good without adding salt? Because you need salt. That's how I get the flavor. But um, I've been seasoning like my vegetables with black pepper and garlic powder. That's like all I use. 
I try not to add any salt, even if it's like pink Himalayan sea salt, I haven't been adding any extra salt to my food. And um, for my shrimps and fishes, I've been adding uh, Old Bay. And the one that I have, I don't know if they all say that, but it says 30% less sodium. I have that one. And I also use like garlic powder, black pepper and stuff like that. But um, outside of Old Bay, I don't add any salt to my food. And I think that's really why I haven't been swelling like crazy. Ooh, look like my booty real high. That's why I haven't been swelling like crazy. So yeah, okay. And I really feel, I don't want, I ain't, I ain't gonna test it cause I was just like, man, I shouldn't put my faha on at all today. Cause I'm really, over the Faha life, like seriously, especially if you know having your cycle and your Faha on at the same damn time. Over it. Over it. But, um, yeah, I'm not gonna play Russian roulette because I might end up swelling later. So I'm just gonna put my Faha on and finish my day. So, babe and I were talking lamps, and I really like this lamp. I told him I'm just gonna get it. They have two of them, but do I need two lamps? I don't know. And they also have this one. This one is cute as hell. This one is 44. And this one is 39. I'm thinking this one. We just need one. So I think we're gonna do that. Gotta send them a picture of it right quick. Since we mounted our TV, we have like more space in the room. Right. So I was telling him maybe we could do an accent chair, <laughs> but that might be a little much. Like I feel like if we put a chair up in there, it's really not gonna be a lot of space. Ross also has a nice little selection of candles, and I'm thinking this one. I actually smelled it already, and it smells amazing. Mm, it smells. So I think I'm gonna do this one. So of course I decided I want this mug. It's just $3.99. So it says throw kindness around like confetti. Be kind, you guys. You never know what people are going through. So you know, a little kindness could make someone's day. about to F up somebody's happy hour right quick. Hey, you guys. I just wanted to come see y'all right quick. Show y'all what I got. So, I got this candle from Ross. It's called Island Cotton, and it smells so freaking good. It smells so good. Let's see. Okay, I had to get babe to uh, load of music, you know what I'm saying? But next from Ross, I got this beautiful little cup. It says, throw kindness around like confetti. It's so freaking cute, you guys. And um, I know it's winter time or whatever. And I know black ain't supposed to be worn all the freaking time, but... I got this black dress. I have to try it on because I don't even know if it's going to fit. Which, I mean, I think it's going to fit. It's extra large. But, yeah, I got this. When I say I don't know if it's going to fit, I mean, I don't know if it's going to be long enough. Because I'm a tall girl. I'm like, what? 5'7"-ish. And it's a lot of legs. And I also got this one. I don't know, y'all. I'll see. I'll see. I might uh, try these on for y'all. She's a female tabby. See, it's the. Tabby. Don't use that name. Damn. 
It's too short. My coochie it's didn't know. Yeah. Why are you getting all these short dresses? I didn't know it was going to be short. Showing your cooter and stuff. Come on, baby. I didn't know it was going to be short. You didn't try it on? No, you can't. Yeah, that's what I like. I like cooter. You right. <laughs> you like it too. Ass essence. And then also for us, I forgot I bought these. These are some caramel sea salt macadamians. I said caramel. Caramel. And I went to Charlotte Ruth and I got three pairs of leggings for twelve dollars. It was buy one, get two free. So they just look like this. Like regular leggings. I got pink, green, and this. These are my like around the house, like company come over type stuff. And I went to Windsor, okay? I don't know if y'all have a Windsor, but this is what the bag looks like. Windsor. So I bought these shoes. They were on clearance for $10. These like some little hooker heels. So I'm like, if I can't wear these like out and about, wearing with some lingerie, <laughs> okay, can't go wrong. They're cute. And I got this little itty bitty little box from Sephora. I got the uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Powder Pomade in the color Ebony. And I think that's all I bought. And I showed you guys the lamp while I was at Ross, but this is her in action. She looks kind of lonely in this little corner, but I promise we're gonna decorate more. But I like the lamp, it's cute. Baby and I are gonna do a little shopping. I have my green juice for the road. We're in Academy, cause I have a gift card. That's just been sitting in my purse forever. And I'm just looking at hoodies because I can't think of anything else that I need. I wanted a um, roller massager, but they're 30 bucks here. And they're $10 on Amazon, so I'm just like, no. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. I can't think of anything else that I want. Maybe a hat. But... My head is so big. My hats don't fit me. I was thinking about a hat. My head too big. <laughs> Ooh, they have visors for summertime. Oh, hmm? You probably work better in a visor. A visor. A visor. A visor. I just bought a hoodie. Do I really need another one? Probably freaking not. No. I like this hat though. Hold this. Hold it like. How <laughs> big old hair will fit in here. Too damn big. You know, she gonna slide right off. <laughs> Even an adjustable band? My hair is too big. Alright, uh, we're not doing that. Thank you. Let's see. Let's go look at something else. Maybe they have some crocs. Let's go look. They may have crocs in here. Ooh, look. Dirty and nice. <laughs> All this freaking makeup. Despicable. Let's see. Maybe slides. I don't have slides. Ew, I see crocs. I see crocs. For the kids, they're like 30 bucks. For the adults, they're like 14. I think these Crocs are so cute, but they're for kids. Yeah. 
Let's see. Babe said get some slides. Um. So there's always Adidas. I like Adidas. Then there's Nike. These look like they would get dirty. So you guys, I ended up just getting some Nike socks and these little fuzzies. I mean, I really just wanted some house slides, like something I wear just in the house. And then I found these. I like them. So babe took it upon himself to go return my lamp, y'all, and get this one. I actually like this one better because it's like a bigger space filler for the house. Y'all, I'm just getting home. About to make us some um, shrimp tacos. But I cannot stop eating this. It's so oh, good. I swear it's so good. <clears throat> Y'all try this. This is the uh, Numa's own mango salsa. It's so good. Can't stop eating it. Shrimp tacos. Shrimp tacos are a go. Okay. And um, I have some air fried taters. And now for my secret ingredient. Gonna put a few droplets on here. This one is your babe. But bon appetit. Hey you guys. I'm doing a super quick story run because we don't have any water at the house. And I'm going to Sam's right quick. Um, I'm going to Sam's. I don't know why it's telling me to get off right here, but I don't know. But I'm going to Sam's and what else do I have to do? Damn. Oh, I have to go to Kroger because we're going to try cod today. We're going to try cod. I've never had cod before. Um, I'm going to get that from Kroger. And then later, I'm going to have drinks with my friend. It's been a while. So I'm going to go have drinks with my girl. And that's pretty much going to be it for today. So the last time y'all seen me, I was vlogging um, at JCPenney. Why is it telling me to get off though? Okay. Um. Yeah, last time y'all seen me, I was vlogging at uh, Burlington, not JCPenney. I ended up going to JCPenney. And they had a fire sale, y'all. Like, it was so nice. I found jeans for like $4. It was crazy. So, if you don't know, now you know. Shop at JCP because they be with the sales a lot of times. Okay, now you go to get off this. Okay, okay, okay. But, um, yeah, if you don't know, now you know. Shop at JCP. They be having fire sales all the time and yeah so babe and i are going to atlanta this weekend i'm super excited um i'm gonna put this vlog out before my next vlog because i'm gonna vlog atlanta but if you guys would be so kind let me know what they got to do in atlanta like i know we're gonna visit the aquarium he wants to go there and um Someone said the Trap Museum. And I don't really know what else after that besides like eating out and stuff like that. But yeah, let you girl know what they have to do in Atlanta. <sighs> so, this is the body without my faha. Let me see. This was not planned. I just seen my body and I was like, oh shit, I could show them the body of the fuck huh? So, dang. So my stomach is still like swollen. So you can still see like, my stomach is swollen right here. And the booty, the booty is the booty. I have on a bra, so I have like a few, you know, imperfections or whatever, but yeah, it's my other makeup bag. But yeah, um, I just wanted to show y'all this right quick. But 
I just wanted to come to you guys while I'm like trying to get myself together and say thank you so, so, so much. I just reached 800 subscribers. That might not be a lot to some people, but it's a lot to me. I'm really trying to get to a thousand and I'm like almost there. And I just wanna say thank you guys so, so, so much for supporting me, for subscribing, for watching and all that. I love you guys so much. Yas, thank you guys. dessert that I made earlier and I'm about to make another one for me and babe it is pro alcohol okay Henny. we just got a little bit of Henny left so I'm gonna split this in half make some for babe make some for me and yeah it's gonna be lit so this is a uh this is a alcohol dessert an alcoholic dessert so it's an adult dessert and he actually gave me the idea he was like why won't you add some of the hennessy to the ice cream I'm like okay so i'm just gonna pour a fairly generous amount oh no he can't have it all plus he has to work in the morning so this is good this, this is pretty good okay so after i pour a heaping amount of hennessy i'm gonna add this ice cream so the ice cream that we have <gasps> the ice cream oh my god i waste time why well, gotta be so damn clumsy it's disgusting okay let me get this up right quick I'm so ashamed because Beyonce specifically said, don't you drop that alcohol and what I did. Drop the alcohol. <sighs> so let's try this again. This is the ice cream that I'm gonna be using. It's vanilla bean and it's the Kroger brand, you know, doesn't have to be Bluebell or anything like that. So just adding the ice cream. <laughs> I'm so sad I dropped the alcohol. Put your ice cream in there. It's gonna kinda come out like, well at least whenever I did it earlier, it came out kinda like a milkshake. And it was so freaking good. So we're like more than midway. So I got this stuff from Kroger. It's some Torini Pyramid Sauce. It's the pumpkin pie flavor. And it was 25 cents. Probably 25 cents because it was part of a holiday collection. So what I did was I poured a fairly generous amount, like about that. And then topped the rest off with ice cream. So it tastes pretty good. Like just like this. But I have some eggnog that I'm trying to get rid of. So I added like some eggnog and it made it taste really good. If you don't like eggnog, you do not have to do this. So it's pretty full. So I'm gonna cap it. Then I'm gonna use my little ninja thing to Mix it all up, and I'm not going to let you guys hear that because it's loud as hell. So, it's looking quite milkshakey, and it tastes freaking amazing. Mmm. Just like I remembered.
So I put it into this cute little glass. And just to make it a little fancy, pretty, I'm going to add just a little bit. Yes. It looks like this. Super delicious. I really think you guys should try it because it's also good. Y'all, I am beyond devastated. Look what the freak I did. And here babe comes talking about, um, well, you have three more. I'm just like, but it's not a, it's not a set anymore. It's an odd number. It's not going to work. See, right here we have six places, but four in it's not going to look right with just 3D. So I'm sad. I feel like we're just going to have to buy a new set. You guys. So tonight is January 12th. 2000. <laughs> I forgot what year it was. Okay. So tonight is January 12th, 2021. And it's a new moon. So... I got myself all set up tonight. I have my water, my tub, you see my candles. I have an incense right there. Let me uh, turn around so you can see. So I drew myself a little bath. I didn't want to um, fill the tub up with water because I mean, I have my tummy tuck scar and everything. It's been three months, so I'm pretty sure I can like sit in the water now, but I don't know, I don't know. And, um. Right there, I have my candle that I got from Ross. Let me tell you, this candle is not really hitting on nothing, but it's a good relaxation candle. Like, I love it for that. But, um, yeah, and I have my Bath and Body Works candle. This one is Fresh Fall Mornings. And I have my uh, incense right here. And let me see. So that incense is this right here, and it smells so freaking good. Like, oh my god, seriously. And uh, so I made my bath by using this that I got from Bath and Body Works, and I also put two scoops of this stuff that Babe got me as a stocking stuffer for Christmas, and. Uh, of course, you know your girl got her wine or whatever, or whatever, or whatever. But, um, yeah, I'm going to get up in this tub right quick. But I just wanted to come and tell you guys, I didn't tell y'all how that cod came out <laughs> last night. So, as soon as I tasted it, I told babe, I'm like, this is fish stick meat. It's like fish sticks. Like, if you ever buy breaded fish sticks or breaded fish squares fillets or whatever mm -hmm. that's that's exactly what it tastes like i'm like so cod is fish stick meat okay good to know i don't think i'll be buying cod again i mean it was good it was all right don't get me wrong but um nah if i want fish stick meat i'll just get fish sticks but, um, yeah, I can't think what else I wanted to tell y'all before I end the vlog. Because I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, next time you guys see me, I will be getting ready for Atlanta. And, yeah. But I really think that's it. I really feel like this vlog is going to be, like, stupid short. I don't feel like I really did anything in this vlog. But, um, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And once again, thank you so much for letting me, well, not letting me, but helping me get to 800 subscribers. I was so freaking excited. I was screaming. Babe was like, uh, what the hell are you screaming for? I'm like, I made it to 800. Like, y'all don't understand. Every time I get a new subscriber, I'm in here yelling like, oh my God, I got a new subscriber. Yeah, it's a big deal for me. So, thank you guys so much for everything. Love you guys. Bye.